I have waited so long to start this vlog today that it is now a conversation of what is for dinner. And that is my absolute least favorite part of the day. What is in here, people? We have half a can of Fancy Feast. Okay, this is my dad's. Um, I have a salad that I got from Trader Joe's, but I ate one already. Singular pancake from a few days ago. Ooh, frosting. Oh, I got these dates the other day because I wanted to make the banana protein pancake. That's what I'm having for dinner. All right, ladies, welcome to our cooking show. Today we are having breakfast at 7.13 p.m. I'm going to start by making protein pancakes, which you would typically eat for breakfast. How come they're orange? You know, I don't know the biology behind why these eggs are orange. <laughs> she bought orange eggs. I... What chicken poops out an orange egg? <laughs> They don't poop them out. Oh, okay, no, that wasn't the right thing. Why are some eggshells orange? I think it's just the type of hen. This is the third stage of the egg laying process, which means this was the closest to actually becoming a child. Oh. The breed, no, the I'm age, the stress it. affect the tone and the color of the oh. eggs. So basically, the egg that popped out this orange egg is stressed, old, and overworked. Stressed and overworked. It is like a thicken egg. She's got the juice in that one. Okay, these are harder to crack than the white eggs to be freaking age. You don't have to turn off the oven? Yes, I do. Ew, there's like brown stuff in it. What is that? Hmm. Chicken. Okay, I don't know about these eggs, Joe. They're a little freaking sus. I would say just whisk it until it feels right. Next, a banana. With your banana, you are going to take a fork and you are going to smash it up into a little mush. The end goal of what you want the banana to look like after it's smashed is kind of like baby food. What's your best life advice? Well, I would say just stay happy. <laughs> I can't find three-fourths cup. Not in here. Scandal, no three-fourths cups. Don't you guys know how to judge it? I do. No, we don't know how to judge it. We didn't learn the freaking metric system. Mix the eggs and the bananas. It's going to look kind of disgusting for the first, actually, it kind of looks disgusting when it's done, but it tastes pretty good. Protein powder, two scoops. You're gonna mix the protein with the eggs. Get it stirred. I'm not a very good cook at mine. Here in our back kitchen, we have something that looks like is going very well. Guess what? What? I forgot something. Maybe that's what's wrong. Two large eggs. <laughs> Brown eggs. I was wondering how you make banana bread without just starting from scratch. She's really having a rough time here. <laughs> well, something happened about 10 years ago where everyone became insanely lazy and we started making mixes for all of these things. And that is why no one my age knows how to cook. Didn't you say we Okay, that's why I don't know how to cook. It doesn't even have a real banana in it. No. Another. Joe Trady moment. That's ridiculous. You don't make, oh well, whatever. I'm just trying to get it out of here. Farm <laughs> fresh banana bread. Back to the pancakes. We are going to put some ground cinnamon in it. This is what my concoction looks like. A little oil up in here. Best judgment to pour. Kind of looks like an island. That was so underwhelming to what I pictured it to be in my head. I thought it'd be like an epic action shot and I got this. The key to this is when you pull it out, you want to put a little bit of almond butter on each layer, a very thin layer. Nice, nice. Okay, that one's kind of burnt. Well, okay, don't get technical with it. I just got mine double stacked. I prefer to top it with some dates, some blueberries, a drizzle of honey, Boom, voila, we have the only dinner that I know how to make, which I usually eat for breakfast, but we're, I'm starting my morning right now. Mmm, it's good. Is it, that did not sound promising. No, I like it a lot. I, really? No, seriously. Mm-hmm. How come not syrup? It's supposed to be healthy. You wouldn't have this much fun living alone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're probably right. All right, you guys, welcome to our sleepover. Things are about to get 
personal. This is kind of like my safety corner because not much is going on behind me. If you take a look at my room, the way that it is now, things are in critical condition. <laughs> This isn't funny anymore. Thought tonight, if I'm planning on moving anytime in the near future, Christmas is coming up, things are about to get crazy, Vlogmas is still going, I kind of have a chill night tonight, so I need to start cleaning up my room now. <laughs> I would classify myself as a pretty clean person. And when I show you this, there's gonna be absolutely no accountability to my words. There is no cohesiveness to anything. You know the good old saying that all the old people say, everything has a place and everything should be in this place. Nothing in this bedroom has a place. Shit is everywhere, okay? My work stuff, my school stuff, everything is just combined. We are food touching up in here. I haven't done a cleaning my room video in a long time because it just doesn't come up that often that things get this bad. Look at this hand, things are out of control. If the sound quality is a little messy, I can't find the mic. It is lost somewhere. Things come in here and it is like a vortex. Like, come on, Morgan. This is my desk. I threw away the old Alani New Cups, those are the new. I'm coming on here tonight with my real fucking face. Because I, I, I can't hide like this. I can't even fake it till I make it. First. One of the most controversial topics of this whole thing is going to be the drawer where makeup goes to die. In this drawer, there's a lot of it regretfully spent cash. Not all of this needs to get thrown away. I'm gonna have to get rid of some of the old things, like old beauty blender. God knows how long this has been here. Trash. So where the functionality goes wrong within my desk is that it is my school desk, my work desk, and my makeup desk. So I have drawers just full of all three of those topics of conversation. <laughs> Can't have containers of makeup brushes and containers of like markers and pens and scissors. It just doesn't make sense. It's not right. <laughs> that is like not the constitutional way. Mars orgasm blush. I actually love this. Makeup brush, makeup brush, makeup brush. Let's be a little efficient and tie things up. See, we put a little hair tie on it. Things are getting better. YouTuber is here again. Beauty Blender Foundation. Amazing. Love it. Top two with this guy. Best two foundations that I've ever spent my money on. Was also a staple in my life for the longest time. Smashbox, Cali Contour. I have gotten every bitch on this. I've used the whole thing, multiple of them, and then I have to buy a new one. Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. Do love that, but it's empty. Other notable mentions. Okay, of, oh, well I was gonna call it a notable mention, but uh, bought this because of Bethany Moda. This is the biggest scam of all time. If I chucked it out the window, I wouldn't even be sad. Sorry. Hate it. I'm sure whoever this is, their other makeup is great. This just was not it for me. And I was really sad that I spent so much money on it. I always get the Benefit brow gel. They were out. I asked the guy at Sephora, what brow gel should I get? And he was like, this one is new. It's a raging topic. There's only one left. I bought it. It sucks. Patrick Ta brow gel. Don't waste your time. Sorry. Am I allowed to say that? Why not? You know what else sucks? Christian Dior foundation. I think I spent upwards of $70 on this bullshit. I put it on my face. I look like I put spray paint from Home Depot onto my skin. It is awful. This might be the worst foundation that I've ever tried in my entire life. So whichever of my family members gets this as a cute little combo, just know that I love you so much. Woo! You know things have gotten to a bad place when you gotta wipe out the bottom of the drawer. That's how you know. What? Things are temporary and this is not my everyday makeup. I kind of just nicely organized it in a little collage for now. I got a little distracted last night and I'm gonna be honest with you, it just didn't get done. A beautiful day here on the front range. Very crisp, very clean. Trees are almost completely dead. Hopes and prayers. How I'm feeling today, we're good. Here's the thing, girls, gays, theys, straights, I don't know. I went on a trip over a week ago. The suitcase has been sitting open like this on the floor ever since the hour that I returned. It's not acceptable anymore. This, love. I got it at Sephora. I think it was like eight bucks. It's a weighted sleep mask. A while ago, I had this huge problem with the Costco sleeping aid that I was taking that it like drugged me out and made my pupils all crazy. Long story short, I had to find an alternative. So I put this weighted sleeping mask on my eyes and I swear to God, it helps. I've been looking for it for over a week and there it is right on my floor. I also bought this adorable little dress 
at Aritzia. It fits my body like my skin itself. When I went to Vail, I had higher expectations of what I was actually gonna do. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get all dressed up. I'm gonna go down to the Vail bar by myself. I'm gonna find a hot golf dad and I'm gonna live my life. Did I actually do that? No. Did I take a dress thinking that I was gonna do that? Yeah. I got these shoes. Haven't gotten to wear them yet. Going to wear these out on the prowl. This is not the environment for that, so please picture them in a different environment, but I'm waiting for the day. And I'm gonna have a really good time. If you have ever watched one of my cleaning videos, you know that these Swiffer things are my favorite things. I keep them everywhere. I keep them in my bathroom. I keep them in my room. I keep them in my car. Sometimes I forget to use them, as we can see. What? Candles are dusty. You know what? I was gonna say I'm not accepting judgment, but honestly I am, and I'm gonna take these downstairs while my parents aren't home. When you work in your bedroom all day, and you don't take a lot of breaks, sometimes things get out of hand. This is one of the things out of hand. Do I think that this is okay? No. Oh, ew. Yikes. Making steady progress, we can now move on to the best part, my clusterfuck of clothes. Contender number one, these are clothes that I washed and I haven't put up yet. Contender number two, clothes that I don't know what to do with. Contender number three, not that bad. Contender number four, my shoe closet. And contender number five, clothes that I washed last week that didn't get put up last week. And I have these ears to make me feel better. It's working. I need to get rid of at least 40% of this. Like every single day of the week, different clothes fit. Sometimes I will have pants that are way too big on Monday, way too small on Wednesday, way too small on Wednesday, way too big on Friday. Like it doesn't make any sense. I've had this dress forever. Some days it fits, some days it doesn't. I think last Vlogmas, I was cleaning out my closet and I looked at this and I'm like, I'm gonna wear this for a holiday. Did I ever wear it for a holiday? No. It'll go back and next vlogmas I will tell you again I'm waiting for a special occasion to wear my special sweater and we'll do the whole dang thing over. Like why don't I wear these things? I don't know. This dress is adorable. I have a problem accepting that I am 5 feet almost 10 inches tall. Things like this don't even cover my butthole. Like my ass is hanging out of this. I'm not gonna shrink like this way. So I need to build a bridge, get over it, give it to Trinity or someone who is like a little less freaking skyscraper-like. <sighs> See, I forgot about this. This is a Skims dress. So good. Under like an oversized jacket. So good. Thank you, Kim, for making a dress that is long enough to go over my ass. I try so hard. Every dress is too damn short. And you know what? Screw you, Zara, because they don't let anyone try anything on. You want to return something. You're going to wait there for five hours. I'm never going back. Their website, unmanageable. I hate Zara. I hate you. That was aggressive. <laughs> really, there is something about this that is making me a little on edge. To be completely frank with you, I am a clothes hoarder. Okay, avalanche. A large pile of things that must go away. These boots get a home. These waterproof Uggs. They're a little too big, a little hideous. My favorite shoes of all time. Stripper heels, kind of. The single most uncomfortable pair of shoes that I own. Granted, they are a half a size too small. This is the circumference of someone you don't want to date. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them anyway. Morgan, this is a mess. Are you gonna clean it up for Christmas? Um, that's what I've been working on for two days. Oh, two? What? Where did you work? I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have to move this rug. I don't know why, it always just shifts this way. We've had to move it like three times. It's Angie. Oh. This stuck. It's stuck on all our stuff. Oh, it's underneath your desk now. Whoa. So you guys think it's the ghost? I do. I keep telling you, every night I hear well, noises. I say move? to Grandma, do you hear that? Okay, now Maybe it's straight. Um, Linda Blair. Who the hell is Linda Blair? You know the bed's getting washed, right? There's no sheets and on the it. The preacher was over her, Linda Blair. Okay. And she rose out of the bed, and you're the preacher, and she's 
elevated. Her face turns green and she goes <laughs> And you think that's who's moving my rug in my room? No. No. Because Angie's a nice ghost. Look up the exorcist. This is not what's going down in my room. I didn't say I needed an exorcism. I said I needed a rug fixer. <laughs> well, it's been really nice hanging out with you guys. I say, though, I hear Angie, noises. Angie's the family nice, room's right Angie's below nice you, and girl. I hear... I hear like I am done thinking that my life is haunted, Mom. Okay, goodbye. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm living in a different house. <laughs> okay, the plant has been watered. Oh my gosh. It is not every day that Cookie wants to love me, and today is a good day. You want to mess up to bed? What do you think? Thoughts? <laughs> She's like, I can finally walk in here. Yeah, damn. People have been asking about Cookie. She's just a little camera shy sometimes. So she's not always in the vlogs. But she's very happy to be a little Colorado kitty. We all love her so much. After a very long conversation with myself last night on why I can no longer live and operate and function like a sewer rat, I pulled it together and I got it done. have dusted, encrusted. The first time this month I have an operable desk. Oh, and you know how much I love my pens. A significant effort has been made right here. I have done in here what I can with the space I am presented with. It still looks unbelievably chaotic, but I color coordinated all of the folded hoodies. You know, we have like neutrals, blacks, pastels, darker tones. Everything has a hanger. Nothing can live on this chair anymore. Shoes, not flawless either, but at least they all have a mat. The dishes from Dystopia have gone back to the kitchen. The blanket basket is a little overflowing, but it's a good home for Hank. <laughs> that mirror over there has been on my list of things to hang up over there for eight months, and it just hasn't happened yet. I feel like a new bitch. I feel like I should change my name. It's just so nice. I do tend to exaggerate a lot, but I'm not exaggerating when I say that is the most disgusting any room of mine has ever been in my entire life. If you would have played the floor as lava in here, you, there wouldn't have been a game because there was no floor and now there is a floor there are drawers the bed is clean I washed my sheets this morning so when I go to bed tonight I can be like wow I finally accomplished something cleanly I adore and love you so much I will see you tomorrow I think I'm gonna take a nap in my freshly washed no that's not a good idea that's not a good idea <laughs> buenas noches everyone buenas noches are you kidding now I messed it all up all right goodbye I love you so much